Ladies and gentlemen, the 2000 Great Kentucky Derby winner. Just in case I forget to tell you, Klaeshack was the first gelding in 74 years to win the Kentucky Derby. We have more Phillies win the Derby than we have geldings. He is also the only New York bred horse to ever win the Kentucky Derby. Whiteside was sold at Windstar Farm in New York in 2000. He is sire in his distorted humor and his dam in Bell's good side. He was sold as a yearling to Sakatoka Stables. Now, Sakatoka Stables are just normal guys. They're just normal guys that are blue collar workers just like us, but they are buddies that wanted to hang out together and they like to go to the racetrack and they figured what a better way to get a good parking spot and act like a big shot so they're their own race horse. So that's what they did. And on the recommendation of their trainer, Bartley Pack, they picked this horse up for $75,000. The Chester Gelding was, was then trained by Bar Bartley Pack, and he started his racing career as a two-year-old in New York. Bunny's first race was at Belmont in September of 2002, and he won that race easily by 15 lengths. He had two more races as a two-year-old, and he won those. So he has three starts and three wins. They had a lot of expectations for this horse, but what will he do outside of New York? So they put him on the Triple Crown Trail in the beginning of his three-year-old year, and he didn't beat any of those guys in all those trials, but he got the last laugh, and he was just perfect when he hit that Kentucky Derby game. He won that race, and um, like I said, he became the first gelding in 74 years, and the first New York bred to ever win the Kentucky Derby. Two weeks later, onto the Preakness, and as you saw, he just he just trounced everybody. Ten links, doing really, really good. Come three weeks later, the Belmont, it had been raining, the track was sloppy and nasty, and the only mud Buddy Side likes is to roll in. He's not much interested in working in it. But he did his best, it was a mile and a half, and he came in a good, strong third. We aren't ashamed of that. He continued racing, and at the end of his seven-year-old year, he retired, but he didn't retire from racing, or the track, I should say. He became his trainer's lead pony. And if they could get him up and get him outside of his stall and get a saddle on him, he would lead the ponies back and forth to the track. Well, he did this for a little over a year until he got fired. He started fighting the horses that he was supposed to be taking to the track. <laughs> a lot of behavior you need to teach the young horses. So he was officially retired, and he came to the Kentucky Horse Park in December of 08. Along the way, he was named champion three-year-old. He received an Eclipse Award. He is considered the people's horse and is also referred to as the pride of New York. He also made about three and a half million dollars for his owners. They were not on set. He is on loan with us. He is now 10 years old, and he stands about 16.2 hands tall. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2003 Kentucky Derby and Freakness winner, Sunnyside. <laughs> oh, they did ask me to remind anybody or let anybody know that all of our voices halters can be purchased 